Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am very excited to share with you guys my fall home decor. I did my entrance, a little bit of the hallway and the family room. So this is part one and part two will be up uh, next week. So definitely stay tuned. I'm really excited to share with you guys everything that's going on in my home for fall. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Okay, you guys, so this is just a quick overview of the things that I have that I will be using around my home to decorate. Now, I did do uh, last week a video where I shared with you guys some of the new pieces that I picked up this year. So if you haven't seen that already, I will leave it in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But as you guys can see, I kind of divided things a little bit into um, sections. So I have my pumpkins on one side, my um, pillows on one side, my flowers on another side, just so that I know where everything is and I can just quickly grab what I need and begin decorating. Okay, so I'm starting off in my main entrance and I am going to be uh, making a flower arrangement. I'm going to be using these pumpkins that you guys see right here. Uh, the big one has our family's last name, so that's why I just decided to turn it around. But I believe I showed the um, blessed pumpkin in my haul, and that was a gift from my mom. And when she gave it to me, I knew right away that I wanted to put it somewhere in the front of the, of the house. So I decided to make an uh, arrangement using some greens and some flowers and some... Um, fall colors just to make it nice and welcoming as soon as uh, you enter the front door would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if i leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now till the morning light for you Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me I just stay that this welcome to our patch sign goes perfect right here in the main entrance i feel like it's really welcoming and also really cute so um i'm also going to be adding some uh, cotton stems and some pumpkins i'm trying to use actually the colors that i'm going to be using throughout my whole house just so that um everything just kind of ties in at the end and just have everything just Match tonight. We could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me now till the morning light? Till the morning light. Till the morning light. Till the morning light. Yeah. Okay, so this is a little bit down the hall, just beside my main entrance, and 
Uh, if you guys are new, you probably don't know that we just completed this area. We used to have a closet here. Um, so I am super excited to be actually uh, be done with the whole renovation and I'm super excited to be decorating it for the season. Oh, I know that you feel it too. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her, I can see that. That you miss So I am gonna be now moving into my family room and as you guys can see my mental is pretty empty now I had all my summer decor pieces stored away and right here I'm just gonna give you guys a two second cleaning motivation <laughs> because as you guys can see it is super dusty up there so I'm just gonna be dusting it off and then just cleaning anything that was um, left behind so that we can begin decorating up here As soon as I got these bird cages, I knew that I wanted to use them on top of my mantle. Now they might not always stay there to decorate, but they are gonna be here for the fall time at least. I might move them around once uh, fall is over, but for now I knew that uh, that's exactly where I wanted to put it on top of my mantle. And um, I decided to make, uh, once again, a flower arrangement. Um, I wanted to use some greens and just kind of have the whole like neutral colors but also have the oranges so the traditional fall colors because I love the traditional fall colors and I actually had a lot of that last year for my fall decor so all, I had all the traditional fall colors. So this year, I just wanted to change things up a little bit and have a little bit of that neutral color that is also very trendy right now. After a little while, I did not like how it was coming out. Well, as you guys can see here, I'm rarely using any uh, neutral colors. I'm going with the reds and the yellows, and I did add a little bit of white, but not too much. And then I wanted to add like green all around the, um, the bird cages. I don't know. I just had this whole vision in my head. And once I started to put it all together, I did not like how it was coming out. So you guys will see a, a little bit of change, not a big change, just a little bit of change. So the green didn't really work out here in my favor because of the fall colors. I just felt like it didn't go. It didn't um, match how I thought it would in my head. <laughs> and let me know if that also happens with you guys when you guys are decorating. You have a whole vision and then once you start putting it all together, it just doesn't turn out the way you thought it would. So that's exactly what happened to me here. So I did have to change just a little bit the idea that I had. And then I just went with the whole fall colors here in my family room. I think that I'm going to hiding somewhere by a gated star. Baby, they ain't never gonna find. Okay, so this is the part that I was telling you guys that I added the green leaves and I was still going on with my idea or what I had in mind but when I was looking at it I feel like something was throwing me off and I thought it was the red flowers that I added because there was nothing red so I decided to add this um, sign that has the red truck and I thought that would help balance it out and then um, I kept adding the green uh, leaves but it still wouldn't look right. And at that time, I kept thinking it was the red. I'm a renegade. Uh, I could be the one who saved you from this. Uh, we could be as one. So 
I'm just gonna uh, keep adding things as you guys are gonna see I'm even gonna be adding some pumpkins just trying to continue on with my neutral colors and at one point I was just kind of getting frustrated because I was just um, trying to make it work but it wasn't working and I keep thinking it was the red so uh, here you're gonna see my husband he got me some coffee and I just decided to stop doing it and continue on the next day So this is the next day and before I moved back to the mantle I decided to do the smaller birdcage and as you guys can see I already had the first half done and then I was filming the other half of the birdcage. I am going to be adding a little bird inside of the uh, birdcage but then afterwards I decided to take it out and add a pumpkin but you will see that later on in the video and um, also I didn't film uh, myself taking out the green leaves but you guys are gonna get to see here in just a second how it looks and what I replaced it with Never get to open cause it's too late I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find me Find me, find me So at this point I felt like adding the red and orange leaves really did make a huge difference and it looks so much better and the garland looks so much more full and just everything really does uh, tie in all together. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide So I am going to be making here a flower arrangement that I am going to be putting next to my fireplace just how I used to have for the summertime. Now I am going to be using um, like orange and yellow flowers and um, unfortunately at one point my camera stopped filming and I, did, I never noticed it so I didn't get to film the whole process but you guys are going to get to see later on how uh, the arrangement turned out to every heart is not a lie I will put out a lot of the fire we stumble and fall I'm 
going to be adding this basket with a throw blanket and I'm also going to be adding a um, throw pillow that I like to put there just so it can feel all nice and cozy but you guys can see right there how the arrangement turned out I really like how it all came together and I am going to be adding this sign that says hello fall and I did end up making that so I and I also feel myself um, making it so if you guys are interested or wanting to know how I did it let me know so I can add it to one of my uh, other videos coming up and that I'm adding to my coffee table is something that I also DIY'd and I think it turned out really nice and they were super easy to make now I do have a video of myself making this box so if you want to see how I did it let me know as well so I can also add it to another video Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. And my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na, 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 na. So, for this part, I had my three beautiful girls helping me. They were so excited to be part of the video and also to be helping to put some fall decorations and they asked if they could decorate this part and of course I agreed so this uh, little part right here was their creation And my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na, 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, oh, na, na. God, I'm sick. 
Okay, you guys, so if you made it all the way to the end, this is how it all turned out, how it all came together. And I just want to say thank you for making it all the way to the end so you can see how everything um, looks like. I will be doing another video next week, part two. And on that video, I am going to be decorating my kitchen, my dining room area, also the sitting area as well. So you don't want to miss that. I'm really excited to be making these videos and sharing with you guys all the process of my fall decorating. you guys so this is it for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration and ideas to decorate your home and make it look beautiful and cozy for this fall season don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys again next week bye